Use your applique presser foot. It is important that you be able to see in front of the needle in order to do precision sewing. Any presser foot that holds fabric firmly and allows good vision in front of the needle will work. The, the FAF applique foot, shown in this picture, will fit most machines that have a snap-on foot. It costs about $6 US. It holds the fabric so tightly that nothing can slip, and it's short for a better vision in front of the needle. Some older machines have a zipper foot that has one shorter side so you can see the needle. That works too. Some metal feet do not have a slot where you can see the fabric. They have only a line across the metal. This type of foot cannot be used for dolls. Use the straight stitch feed cover plate, the one with the single small hole. If you don't have one, ask your dealer to order one for you. The straight stitch feed cover plate will keep your machine from eating your fabric when rounding tiny places like fingers and toes. The last time I checked, the straight stitch feed cover plate cost about $25, but it's a good investment. If you can't get a straight stitch feed cover plate, or while you're waiting for one, place a small piece of masking tape over the wide zigzag hole, and then lower the needle to punch a hole in the right place. Be sure to check the masking tape frequently as it comes off easily. Avoid covering the feed dog holes. If your machine is less than 15 years old and is a computerized rotary hook machine, the stitches should still be perfectly balanced. If your machine is older, or is not a computerized rotary hook, it probably needs to have a checkup by your dealer. If your machine winds its bobbin while in the case, it is not a rotary hook machine. Non-rotary hook sewing machines have a history of skipping stitches, often enough that it becomes a problem with my style of doll making. For non-rotary hook sewing machines, you must use two layers of stitching on all seams, one directly on top of the other. A good strong task light, the correct presser foot, and a headband with magnifying glasses built in makes this easy to do. I have a FAF 1475 that's about 15 years old at this writing. When its stitch length is set for 1.5 millimeter, actual length 1.0 millimeter, the fabric will tear before the stitches will pop, so I only need one stitching line. If your machine has a rotary hook and a perfectly balanced stitch, Set it for the stitch length called for in these directions and only sew each seam once. Change your machine needle if you have already made several dolls using it or if you have logged over six to eight hours on that needle. Use a number eight or number nine needle for lightweight to medium woven fabric or use a same size universal needle. A worn needle will damage the fabric. When placing the pattern piece under the presser foot, it is often difficult to get the feed dogs to grab the edge and make it more difficult to back tack. Here's how to fix it. Use the tip of a doll needle to grab the fabric behind the presser foot and pull the fabric slightly until the feed dogs grab and begin to pull the fabric under the machine needle. Stitch and count 20 to 25 stitches on a scrap of fabric. Adjust your stitch length until the 20 to 25 stitches fit within one inch or 25 millimeters. 20, 20, 22, 23. 23 stitches at one point. Give her a squirt of machine oil if she sounds noisier than usual. She needs a drop in the raceway. See your sewing machine manual for instructions on what kind of oil to use and where to put it. After giving her a drop of oil, stitch for a few inches on a scrap of fabric to make sure it will not leave oil stitches on your new doll. Clean all the fuzzies out of your machine. I blow the dust out of the inner part of the machine with a can of air from the Photoshop or the computer store. I clean my machine each time I change the bobbin and oil it after four or five hours of sewing. Read your sewing machine instruction book if you need information about these subjects. Stops with needle up, needle down. Controlling stitch length and width. Back tacking or back stitching. Tension control adjustments. Raising, lowering, and replacing presser foot, manual and knee switch. Lowering the feed dogs. Changing machine cover plate. Winding bobbins, threading the machine.